Hey guys, this is the first video I'm going to do on defamation law in Singapore. I've noticed over the years that there has been an increase in the number of people inquiring about uh, filing defamation lawsuits okay, against people who have uh, said something bad about them on the social media posts, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Uh, I have uh, clients okay, asking me to uh, file uh, defamation lawsuits against uh, customers for giving bad reviews, right? Uh, saying bad things to the suppliers, their other customers, blah, 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 blah. The reality is that most people cannot afford a defamation lawsuit. Uh, defamation, the legal cost for a defamation lawsuit would be between 30000 to 50000 Number two, how much is your reputation worth? The Prime Minister of Singapore sued a blogger, Roy Ngung, I think most of you will be familiar with that, for defamation. And the damages awarded to the Prime Minister of Singapore was $150,000. So, if the reputation of the Prime Minister of Singapore is $150,000, how much do you think the reputation of commoner is worth? $10,000? $20,000? I'll let you go think about it. So the courts have been flooded by so many of these uh, frivolous uh, defamation lawsuits because somebody said something about them, somebody wrote something on Facebook about them. The, the courts are kind of uh, clamping down on this. So now they have this thing called the pre-action protocol. So before you start a defamation lawsuit, you have to, uh, you have to comply with certain requirements such as writing a letter of demand that uh, complies with the requirements of the practice directions, okay? It, when you have to uh, agree to mediation or arbitration or whatever. Now, defamation can be criminal or civil, okay? I'm going to talk about civil because that is the most common one. For criminal defamation, the police can actually arrest you for it, but that's very uncommon. The, mo the most common type of defamation is civil defamation. Civil defamation come under torts and the defamation act. Tort is a civil wrong. So there are two types of defamation under tort law. The first type is libel. Libel means written words which are defamatory, which are false and defamatory. The second type is called slander. Slander is spoken words which defame another person. What are the elements of defamation? Firstly, a defamatory statement, okay, which, is, which, which has to be false because if it's true, then it's not false. So the first element is a defamatory statement which lowers the victim in the estimation of right-thinking members of society, causes the victim to be shunned or avoided by society, or exposes the victim to hatred, contempt, or ridicule by society. A statement can be direct, or indirect. An indirect statement is a statement which uh, accuses someone impliedly by innuendo. You don't name the person, but you imply that it is him. Second element, the statement made by the defendant has to contain the victim's name okay, or the victim's photograph. If there is no name or photograph provided, the court will determine whether there is uh, any innuendo which suggests it is the victim. Number three, the statement has to be published. What is published? Published means read by others. The number of persons who read the statement, the defamatory statement, is not important at all. It is the fact that it was published. However, the court will take into account the number of persons who read the statement when deciding on the amount of damages to be awarded to the plaintiff. The larger the number of persons who have read the defamatory statement, the higher the quantum of damages. There are several defenses to a lawsuit for defamation, some of which will include uh, justification, fair comment, which I will discuss in later videos. As an aside, which I mentioned earlier, if a statement is true, it cannot be defamatory. So for example, if someone makes a Facebook post saying that you had an affair with Mrs. ABC, okay? And you did have an affair with Mrs. ABC, okay? There are WhatsApp messages, there are photographs and all that. You cannot sue the person who made the post about it because it is true. It is not defamatory. A defamatory statement has to be false. 
one of my regular clients received a letter of demand from a law firm demanding $50,000 in damages for alleged defamation. What happened was uh, my client parked his car on the roadside. The car in front reversed and knocked into his car. Instead of apologizing, the driver of the, the car in, who knocked into my client's car came out, shouted at him, banged the car. His wife and children were in the back seat. They were frightened. And then my client made a Facebook post, uploaded the videos, the dash cam videos of the incident and then uh, to Facebook. And there were thousands of Facebook shares and the whole thing became viral. He, my client was invited to do an interview on YouTube about the incident and because of this a driver who hit his car and who threatened him sent a letter of demand demanding $50,000 in compensation for the alleged uh, defamation. I essentially replied to the lawyer saying please look at the facts carefully there is no defamation. Everything he said was true. There was no false allegations. So thanks for watching this introductory video on defamation. Do stay tuned for other videos.